we never know when a situation like this is going to come up and we can't usually pick or choose what environment it happens in. So it's just a great opportunity that we can get everybody together. Officers from the City of Marquette Police Department held a training session for law enforcement from around the county on Monday. Training focused on what to do during an active shooter or active violence situation. While the information was mostly a refresher for those involved, it also provided a look at new countywide policies recently enacted by the Marquette County Law Enforcement Administrators Association. Instead of each agency having different policies and procedures and how to respond to an active shooter or active violence situation. We came together, we all adopted the same guidelines. It brings all the different uh, agencies together on the same page how we're going to respond. Along with the unified guidelines comes a new system which allows Central Dispatch to communicate with officers via text message in case an active shooter situation arises. All the different police officers and all the different agencies in Marquette County, they will be able to get this text and be able to respond off duty or on duty to the active shooting situation. Training not only gives officers an edge physically when dealing with these difficult and dangerous events, it also helps to prepare them mentally. You react the way you're trained. You can have all the tools in the world and all the technology, but if you don't know how to apply it or you're not confident in the application, then it's not going to do you any good. We try to make it interesting for them and we try to ramp up the stress a little bit to get them to start thinking and to avoid you know, all the pitfalls. Reporting for ABC 10 and CW5 News, I'm Andy Cooley.